Good morning guys, I had to start today's vlog in the garden because it is sunny, the sky is completely blue so I feel like this day needs to be documented because the summer that we've had in the UK so far has been dreadful. So yeah, feeling very good today, happy to be wearing a dress, happy to be in the sun, in the garden, the sun on my skin, oh, why does this make you just feel so much better? So today I thought I would do a day in the life vlog because I have got quite a busy day and I've got things that I need to do and I feel like they're things that might be good to film so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me today. I have a Hollister haul that I want to unbox and show you guys. I also need to do my nails because they're looking horrible so we're going to do that. Um, I also want to go to TK Maxx. I just really feel like going to TK Maxx today. You know when you get them days where you just think it's a TK Maxx day. I really want to go so I thought I'd bring you guys along with me to TK Maxx as well. I am heading off later on to the aesthetic clinic that I go to to get some Botox. I normally get it in between my eyebrows here so and then sometimes she puts a little bit here to lift my eyebrow as well so I've got that appointment today so I thought I'd bring you along there it's quite hard to film I'm hoping to bring Ollie with me and get him to maybe film a bit of that I've got another video that I need to film today as well so I'm planning on getting quite a lot done in this one day so I think I'll start today's video with the Hollister haul that I wanted to show you but before we get into that I do have a new obsession that I want to share with you guys right I thought I'd just get comfy to tell you about this so this is magic mind it's a little shot of drink which is a mental performance shot and it has vitamins c and d in it and it's something that you can take every single day i have added this into my routine over the last month and it has definitely boosted my motivation and my productivity which is why i love it it reduces stress as well so even though it kind of boosts your productivity and it boosts your focus it reduces the stress you don't have that stressful feeling of being ultra focused it's calming but also makes you productive if you like having a coffee the two work really well together i do only have one coffee a day because caffeine makes me very jittery and anxious so i don't like to have too much caffeine but then in the afternoon because i'm only having one coffee a day i do feel a little bit of a lack in motivation but since i've been having magic mind with my coffee in the morning this lasts you all day i do quite enjoy it so i tend to just sip it rather than gulp it down also, how gorgeous is the packaging on these? What I'd recommend is going to have a look at the Magic Mind website because you will find all of the details there about all the scientific backed evidence, things like that, the ingredients, all of that good stuff is on the website. It's very detailed. And because I'm working with Magic Mind on today's video, it does mean that I do have a discount code for you guys, which is Rosie Tilly 20 which gets you 20% off. And I think at the moment they've got 28% off their subscriptions. So with using my code as well, you can get 48% off so if you're thinking about trying it if you've already heard of it and you're thinking about trying it i feel like now's the time to try it because you're getting almost 50 percent off your subscription i will leave all of the information for magic mind linked in my description box below along with the discount code but thank you to magic mind for sponsoring this section of today's video hello dylan why are you always joining me where i'm sat you're so cute should we go and do the hollister haul he also loves it because the sun's out. He loves laying in the garden and just watching the birds. And it's so sweet that he just walks outside and he just sits. And he's quite independent, really. He doesn't seem to need to be with us. He likes to know where we are, but he's quite happy to go and find a spot in the garden and just chill there. Whereas Belle is a lot more kind of by, by us. You know, she's always near you. Or if you get up and move, she'll get up and follow you. Whereas Dylan will kind of look over and see where you're going, but he won't get up and follow you, which I think is really cute because it just shows he's so relaxed at home. I'm talking about him, but I should probably show you him. Dylan, you're a good boy. And look how fluffy you are though. Look, I mean, you look like you've put on weight, but the groomer assures me that you're not fat. She said that, because I said to her, people keep saying to me, I think Dylan's fat, which I think is rather rude, but I guess they're just looking out for his best interests. But she said, no, seriously, when he's wet and she's obviously washing him, he's really thin. Well, not thin, but you know, he's normal size. It's just all fur. It is so thick. Honestly, it's like thick fluff. So you're not fat, are you, Dylan? Poor doggy. It's very offensive, isn't it? People call you fat and they call you a girl. <laughs> Poor boy, but you're so gorgeous. 
writing and getting distracted. Let's go upstairs and see what I've got from Hollister. Right, I have been gathering up pieces for our holiday. I cannot believe we are going away in less than a month to America. For those of you who don't normally watch my videos or just haven't heard me talk about it, we are going to America the end of August and we have, we've got about a week in Vegas and then we are hiring a car and going on a road trip around i think we're doing five different states of america so i am absolutely buzzing for this trip but i literally don't know what to pack because the problem is vegas at the moment and i think even by the end of august it's going to be 40 degrees at least so it's ridiculously hot although i will say i know that sounds crazy and in the uk i feel like if it's 40 degrees we'd all absolutely be dying it'd be awful but in Vegas, it's so dry. So it's it's a very different heat to what you get here. It's just not all clammy and sweaty. It's just not like that. It's actually such a lovely heat. So I can cope with 40 degrees in Vegas. I mean, obviously you don't walk out in it long and all of the big hotels and stuff have all got air con in them and everything like that. So it's comfortable. But yeah, so Vegas is gonna be very hot. And then we're actually gonna travel up towards Yellowstone. We're gonna go around to Colorado. We've, we've got a whole itinerary planned. But obviously, as we go up north, uh, the weather's going to get colder. So I just don't know what to pack. But at the moment, in my head, all I'm thinking about is Vegas and kind of dresses and bikinis and all of that lot. But actually, I feel like on the road trip, it's going to be a bit colder. But do you know what? I think the road trip half of it is definitely going to be that more relaxed, just cosy, traveling around. We're going to spend loads of hours in the car anyway. So I just think what we're going to be wearing is just comfy, cosy clothes. I don't think I'm going to be thinking about my outfits that much on the road trip. So basically everything that I've been getting in all my hauls recently is all for like Vegas. I actually love Hollister. I normally, I do buy things from Hollister quite often, but I've, I realized I've never done a Hollister haul on my channel before, but I only got a few bits, so I didn't really feel like it warranted making a whole video about just this haul, because it's just a couple of things. Yeah, let me show you what I've got. Oh, actually, this, I did pick this up for the road trip. This is a little jumper. Also, I've got everything in the sale. So this crew neck jumper was supposed to be um, 35 pounds, it says on the label, but I picked it up in their sale for 13 pounds 49p. So absolute bargain. Oh, it's soft. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's perfect. So it's just a crew neck jumper and it has this detail on the front of it, which is a place in Tennessee, actually. Um, we're not actually going to Tennessee. Feels like a really good thickness to wear when we're traveling long hours in the car and stuff, you know what I mean? It's just kind of cozy, material's very soft. Then, oh, this is cute. Oh, I really hope this fits. I might try this on, actually. If I try this on, I'll pop some clips on the side of the screen so you can see what this looks like on. Um, but, oh, this is gorgeous. I mean, it's a little bit sexy and I'm definitely not normally a kind of sexy person. But, I mean, I'm putting myself down a little bit there, aren't I? I'm just not. I, I like being a little bit covered up. I don't mind things fitted to my body, but I don't like getting too much skin out. But, you know, we're going to Vegas. I just wanted to feel a little bit sexy. It's mine and Ollie's, I didn't say it, I didn't mention this, but it's mine and Ollie's um, first year anniversary and our honeymoon mixed in one because we never really did a honeymoon because we got married at the Grand Canyon last year. It was kind of a trip all in one, so we didn't do a honeymoon. So this is our honeymoon and one year anniversary trip. So I wanted to be a little bit sexy, you know? I mean, me and Ollie have been together for 13 years, so you know what it's like when you've been with someone a long time. You kind of get a little bit too comfortable with each other, so I thought I might surprise him with some nice, this isn't underwear, by the way. I'm not trying to show you my sexy underwear or anything. Um, this is actually a top, although it does look like underwear, but it is this really gorgeous corset top, and I'm hoping you can see the shade of it. It is this beautiful, oh my God, it's gonna match my hair so well. It's this beautiful purple shade, and I have been loving purple at the moment. Um, it has the fastening at the back here, you know, like the hook fastenings you get on a corset. The only thing is it doesn't really have much padding in the boob area, so I don't know um, what that will be like, but we're, we're going to try it on it anyway. And then it has this lace detailing here, and honestly, this just feels really, really soft. And I just thought this with a pair of high-waisted trousers, or maybe a skirt if I was feeling a bit brave, and boots or something would look really cool. It has adjustable straps as well. I think, did I get this in another colour as well? I don't know. Let me tell you how much this was though. Okay, so originally this one was £27. I definitely did not pay that for it. £8.43. Okay, next up, oh, it's a pair of shorts. Okay, so this is just a pair of quite plain shorts. Oh, those are soft, which again, I just wanted for travelling in really, if it is a little bit warm, 
or maybe if we're just nipping down to the pool because in Vegas we're staying in two different hotels. We're going to stay in the Fontaine Blue Hotel, which is a new hotel in Vegas for the first half of Vegas. And then we're moving to the Venetian, which is where we stayed after our wedding last time. So we're going to go back there for the second half of the Vegas bit. Um, and I just found that when we were there, I didn't have anything just to throw on to walk down to the pool in with your swim stuff on. Um, so I thought a pair of shorts like this would be good. Even just comfy stuff when you're in the room wandering around, you know? And these shorts, oh, these look really nice. They're really high-waisted, nice, stretchy, big, chunky waistband. And then they're quite a nice shape. They look like they sort of come out on the hip a little bit there. So they should look quite flattering on. And they also have pockets in the sides there. And then they have a nice kind of seam running down the front of them, which I really like. It's supposed to be £25. And I paid £11.80. God, I really got some good deals on this haul, actually. I didn't realise how good that was. But yeah, so bargain for those. And next up... Oh, yeah. Next up, I just picked up this bralette here. It's a kind of chocolate brown bralette. It feels a bit like a swimsuit, actually. It is just a plain bralette. I just really enjoy wearing these rather than actual bras. Just nice, stretchy, comfortable bralettes are what I go for. But this one, oh, I should have got the bottoms for this because it actually feels like a bikini. I might even wear that as a bikini top, you know. That's like the perfect bikini top for me. Just need to obviously find some bottoms for it, though. But it has adjustable straps. It has the hook and eye at the back here this one normally 19 pounds again this is the micro modal material so it's the same material as that corset top and this one was only eight pounds oh, such a bargain also i got everything in a size small okay then last up i have picked up myself some new knickers i love a fresh knicker day <laughs> i don't know why but i just buy knickers I love them to be so fresh and new. I don't like it when they are all old and used. And you know, after a while I'm just like, right, it's, it's time for some new knickers. And I think this is what drew me in actually because it popped up as an ad on my Facebook and they had this set of knickers for, I think it was half price maybe, let me just check. So these were originally 29 pounds and oh i paid 12 pounds 23 for them so yeah even less than half price these are cotton thongs that kind of oh my god they've got oh i didn't know this about them they actually have days of the week on them monday tuesday oh that's gonna stress me out i actually wish they didn't have that on them because now i'm gonna feel weird if i've got to put a tuesday pair of knickers on on a monday that's gonna throw me for the whole day Anyway, it's quite cool. It's a little detail they've got here. So each of them have the day of the week on them. So I'm guessing it's a set of seven. Yeah. So nice neutral colours as well. Creams, nudes, browns. And then we've got black ones here. And they feel really nice, actually. I do just love a cotton thong like this. I find them the most comfortable knickers to wear. And um, that's what they look like on the back. Yeah, so I have a nice bunch of fresh knickers. That is everything from my Hollister haul really happy with actually everything i'm really happy with which is good because it actually arrived a while ago but because i wanted to show you guys in this video i haven't opened it up um so it's too late to return anything so um yeah i'm glad it's all good right i want to do my nails because they honestly are looking a little bit dodged now they're not actually that bad considering i've had this on for 10 days now i have spoken about my manicure kit in other videos um but i don't think i've ever used it in a video before so I thought I would use it today and kind of show you a little bit of what it's like um, but it's the Manucurist LED nail polish kit very handily it fits in this Space NK box which is good um, but this is the little kit so I only have three colours and I think I'm just going to put the same colour on again I love this dark brown colour it's called Clothed but the best thing about this manicure kit is the removal of it so even though this has been on for 10 days and it is kind of like a gel polish you just have to put the remover on it with the little clips that they've got and it removes your nail polish in 60 seconds so i can have old nail polish off new nail polish on within half an hour so it's so quick and i just love the fact that i find that it's so fast these are the clips so you put cotton pad on there with the removal stuff and then you just clip it on like that wait 60 seconds, remove it, and the polish literally pops off. I'm gonna go in the other room where I've got a table and do it now so I can actually show you 
how easy it comes off. Okay, I hope that I'm in the right place. I haven't actually checked to make sure the setup's okay. But right, I'm in my office now because I just have my desk here, which is the best place for me to do my nails. So I've got my lamp plugged in here, which comes as part of the kit. Got the remover, got my clips. And then I just take one of those big oval cotton pads and I just cut it into quarters like this. I just find this size works perfectly. But I'll also split that in half as well. So I don't need, because you really don't need much of this stuff. So I just don't like to use up all of my cotton pads. So I'm now going to soak this in here. I'll just do one at a time like that. So I just soak the stuff on the cotton pad like that. Put that over my nail. Take one of the clips. Clip it on, and that one is on its way off. And then I'm just gonna go around and do all of them. They're all on, and this is what they look like. They're very secure as well. And also you just have five clips in the pack. So obviously because it would be really hard to do your other hand yourself. Um, so I just normally wait 60 seconds for these, remove them, and then I move on to the next hand. Right, so that's definitely been on for a minute now, so I'm just going to show you. So that is what it looks like when you take it off with a bit of cotton pad stuck to it there. But you can use a little orange stick to wipe that off, but sometimes I find just using the cotton pad, it actually takes it off. Look at that. And your polish is off. There's a tiny bit at the top, just give it a bit of a wipe. And literally, the nail polish is gone. It's amazing. I just, I've never known any kind of polish that does this. It's so good. I feel like even sometimes regular nail polish doesn't do it this well. Right, this one, I always find this nail will just pop off. Can you see it there? And then, I wonder if I can actually just peel this one off, look. Yeah, literally, it just peels off gone so yeah it's really fast right i'm just gonna remove the rest of it it's also very satisfying for me anything beauty wise that i can do with speed i just love this one gone <laughs> like it's literally there it looks like i didn't even have anything on there it's just gone how quick and easy is that? Right, let's do the next hand now. I'm gonna stop filming for this bit because you know, this video is gonna be so long otherwise. Okay, they're all off. So now I'm just gonna go back in with the remover stuff just to go over my nails to make sure they're very clean. Cause I did just go and wash my hands as well. I always like to wash my hands after I've removed to get rid of all the fluff from the cotton pad. Nice. Right, so in the kit you get your base coat, your top coat, and then in this kit I've got three colours, you can also choose any colours that you want, but I think they have kits where you choose one colour with it, or you can choose five colours, there's all different things you can buy, or you could literally just buy the polish on its own. So these are the colours that I've got, I've got Milky White, Rose Mountbatten and Clove, but Clove is just my favourite, I love it, so that's the one I'm going to use today. So I'm just going to go in with the base coat now, and I do try to apply it in really, really thin layers. You do need to be careful with it, you don't want to apply it too thick because you'll find that it doesn't set properly. It has to be applied really, really thin layers. And make sure when you put it under the lamp, you do cure it for the full time that it says. The lamp actually has on it a different button for each bit of the process of painting the nail, if you know what I mean. So when you put the base coat on, there's a button on the lamp that says base. Uh, when you put your colour on, it's the same. So you know then you're putting it on, you know you're putting it under the lamp for the right amount of time. And the other trick with it is, is make sure you always seal the free edge. So just run the brush just along under the nail there just especially if you've got short nails you do need to make sure that it is sealed but the products are just it's just so easy to work with and by the way guys this i do have a discount code for manicurist um because i'm affiliated with them but this is in no way an ad i just genuinely need to do my nails today and this is what i use so why not share with you guys um, and then, yeah, this is the lamp. This is what I was talking about. So you've got base, colour, top coat on the lamp so you know which one to push. And you just pop your hand under there. Oh, <laughs> good job, little plug. 
<laughs> and then it just looks like that. And then this is 60 seconds. It has a countdown on there as well. Okay, I have put the base coat on the other hand as well. So I'm now going to move on to the colour. And I normally put two coats of colour on, but maybe you could put three if you wanted to. But I find the colours are quite rich in pigment. So you really, really need two colours for two coats. So again, I do apply it very thinly on my nail. But yeah, I just find it so relaxing doing my own nails. It's so much easier than actually having to book an appointment and go somewhere. By the way, it's Monday. I can't actually remember what the date is. Monday the 29th of July. I think it might be the Love Island final tonight. I mean, a lot of you guys might not like Love Island. I'm not saying that I love Love Island, but I just find it fun to watch and it's just one of those things I know you know a lot of the time it's a load of crap it takes your mind off everything else it's easy to watch you can have it on the background while you're getting on with something else you know it's not too serious and I definitely don't take it seriously but I do love watching Love Island and I definitely keep up with it I like to watch every single episode and I'm pretty sure that tonight is the final which works out perfectly because Ollie is actually away uh, he's away for work today and tomorrow so it means I have a whole evening to myself tonight and even though I don't know we do have two tvs but I like to watch the tv that we've got in the bedroom so I like to lay in bed and watch Love Island whereas Ollie does not like Love Island although sometimes I see him sneakily watching it but anyway he reckons he hates it so if I lay in bed and I've got it on he's like properly complaining that he's trying to watch something on his phone or something and then love Island's on the background he doesn't like it so i was like okay perfect he's away i can get some snacks chill out in bed and watch the love island final in peace so i'll be doing that tonight is love island a guilty pleasure for any of you guys it that's what i call it it's my guilty pleasure but when you tell people you watch it it's like they instantly think that you've got about one brain cell and why do you watch it but i'm not watching it for educational purposes i'm just watching it because it's easy to watch and i like following along with things so it's quite fun how you follow along with their personalities and like getting to know them and stuff like that anyway i'm gonna um stop chatting and doing my nails now because it's gonna take me twice as long okay this is my lunch it's not like that exciting i have apple juice i love cloudy apple juice so one of my favorite drinks and then you can't really see in here but i have chicken cherry tomatoes sun-dried tomatoes pepper cheese and also caesar salad caesar dressing and then i just put it in my toasty maker fold it up put it in the toasty maker and then it makes a really nice hot wrap it's very tasty also this weather oh my god it's literally making me so happy Mm. Yum. Hello, beautiful girl. And say hello, Belly. You're not in the vlogs very often, are you? You're just a little bit camera shy, although today you're quite chilled. Normally, as soon as I get the camera out, she gets up and walks off. And I think it's from when she was a puppy, once we took a picture of her and the flash was on. And I feel like ever since then, oh look, this one loves the camera. But like ever since then she's never really liked the camera but yeah she seems okay now oh you're so beautiful belly we actually have to take Belle oh she's off good girl we actually have to take Belle to the vets in a couple of days time we are very much hoping that it's all going to be okay um but we have found a lump on one of her sort of well right near to her nipple so it's a little bit worrying because it does say online the lumps near the nipples uh, are a sign of uh, is it mammary cancer um, obviously that will be devastating news so we are hoping that it's just a fatty lump or it's benign or something but yeah we're taking her in on Wednesday in a couple of days uh, to get all checked out she is 12 but she is very very fit and healthy um, so yeah we just obviously hope she remains that way Good girl, Bill. I will keep you guys updated though. My snack burst box has just arrived as well. Could this be any more perfect timing for our Love Island final session tonight with snacks? Let's go. I feel like I haven't been to TK Maxx for maybe three months. I think the last time I went was maybe 
in the winter, I'm not too sure. And do you know what? I'm not even going to particularly buy anything, but I just love looking around there. I find it so relaxing. I go around every aisle. Although, actually, I have to say, I don't look at the clothes much. The clothes kind of scare me a little bit because they're quite sort of all over the place. But I love all of their homeware and skincare, makeup, hair care, all of that lot. Jewelry, their jewelry is really good there as well. Um, but I really want to go in, and I know I've said today, oh my god, it's so sunny, how lovely, we've got the sun, and the summer's finally here. But um, in all honesty, I am a kind of autumn, wintry person. So I love autumn winter weather, but what I don't love is autumn winter weather in the summer. Like that is just, that's annoying. I feel like I want the summer to be sunny, or at least, you know, a few weeks of the summer to be sunny, especially where I live on an island, because we are surrounded by beaches, and the fact that the beaches are there, but it's never warm enough to use them, is just like a massive tease. So I love the summer because the island is beautiful, there's beaches everywhere and you can have really lovely days out and you don't have to, you don't even have to spend any money. You can literally pack, make yourself a sandwich, take your book and go and sit on the beach and it is amazing. I'm going to try and do a solo beach trip um, in the next few weeks I think before we go away. Um, anyway, autumn winter is my favourite because I just love the cosiness of it and of course TK Maxx is the place for all of your autumn decor, autumn candles, all of that. So I thought I might go and see if they've got anything in. It probably is a little bit early, but then TK Maxx are always kind of on point with it. They are definitely early. Their Christmas stuff will probably be in next month. So yeah, I feel like uh, they are very early with things. So I should hopefully be able to find some goodies in there. I don't think I'll actually buy anything today. I just wanna go and have a mooch around, relax before my appointment. Right, I am out of TK Maxx and I am a little bit early for my appointment. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm filming on it. God, I do that too often. Right, so I can't keep an eye on the time. Let me just check what time it is. Okay, so it's quarter past three now and I do normally go in at quarter past three because if I'm lucky, they make me a cup of tea, but they bring it out in like a pot of tea, which a pot of tea to me, oh, just makes me come back here again and again just for that. So I'm basically going in for Botox. I have a little bit between my eyebrows there so that I can't make this line here, which this line is probably the most prominent line that I'm going to get on my face. So I get it there, then I can't frown. And then if she has any leftover, she normally just pops a bit in there and there and what i find is that just very subtly lifts up the eyebrow so that's just quite like anti-aging and i normally come here maybe two to three times a year um so i'm gonna head in there in just a second but i thought i'd show you what i picked up in tika mats because i did actually buy stuff even though i told myself i wasn't going to i went back around and picked these bits up so i got this planner and the reason I got this is because I need a planner for now. Obviously, it's the middle of the year, so I didn't want to buy one. Anyway, this is a 17-month planner, and it starts in August 2024 through till December 2025. So I was like, perfect. It has this kind of August at a glance here, which is really good. Um, so you can put your goals in. You can have a to-do list for every month. And it looks like this on each week, which I thought was so handy because I do love to be able to open a book up and see my whole week of plans. Um, so yeah, and it also looks really cute. And it was only nine. 99 which i thought was an absolute bargain planners are normally really expensive i think it has stickers in it as well oh yeah it has stickers as well that you can use but i'm going through things quickly because i want to go in and get my pot of tea i also picked up these hair clips and these were only 6.99 i just love the fact that i could have matching ones in all different sizes and they're just really cute as well and then finally could not help myself but i have picked up 
a candle for autumn um this is the pumpkin pecan candle it's a dw home one and it smells exactly as you would expect a pumpkin candle to smell like it smells so good um so yeah i'm really happy with that and it was 7.99 i am going to put this away though and i'm going to get it out in september i'm not going to get it out in august but i just thought i'd grab it because i find with tk maxx their autumn stuff comes in and it goes out before autumn's even started so i wanted to grab it so that is my candle and now i'm heading in i literally have a sweaty lip because this car is boiling uh let's go in to my appointment Right, I am back home now, all Botoxed up. After you have Botox, you have to like scrunch your face up for the rest of the day. I think it just makes sure that the Botox is all in the right places, I don't know. Because I did go through it with her because I thought, oh, I don't, I, I just want to talk to her first about whether she thinks it's worth me having it done here or whether I should just stick with the usual parts. But she was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, but she just did half a dose here because I said, say to her, I don't, ever want to not be able to move my face i like the fact that i can do all the expressions and stuff but just more subtly you know um so she said she'll just put half dose in there so i had um i think i had three injections across there one two three and then one up here and one up here which just lifts that eyebrow like i told you about and then i had three around here so i think it just went one two three and she said that that will just really soften out this area here, which I feel like on camera, you can't really tell. But when you see me in person, you can definitely see the like crow's feet there and stuff. And especially since I like wearing makeup, because you've got these lines, the makeup gets all in them and it creases up and then the makeup breaks apart. So it will be really nice to see whether this area of my face will just be a lot smoother now. Um, so yeah, but if any of you guys live on the Isle of Wight and you are looking at getting aesthetics done or you already get them done and maybe you're looking somewhere new, I don't know, but I just fully recommend Haley there at the Courtyard Aesthetic Clinic. It's just such a lovely clinic and also she just spends so much time going through everything with you. It takes more time her chatting through everything, making sure you're fully happy compared to how long it actually takes to do it. You know, to do it is five minutes, but yeah, she just really takes her time to ensure that you know what's going to happen you know how it's going to look and then she even books you back in for three weeks two weeks time um to then check over it and if you need any tweaks or anything she'll tweak it so yeah um i just fully recommend it there and i just really enjoy going there although today they were very busy so i did not get my pot of tea <laughs> it's fine that's always just a little bonus if i get that dinner is served tonight i have just made a very simple chicken Caesar salad well chicken and bacon Caesar salad with croutons Caesar dressing lettuce a grated some parmesan on top we've got Caesar dressing and a bit of black pepper on there and then while the cat's away I'm gonna drink his beer <laughs> so I saw one of these in the fridge freshly chilled and this is if I ever drink beer this is a beer that I will drink Asahi it's just the best beer so yeah I'm gonna enjoy that with my dinner You guys are gonna laugh. I literally just sat here and filmed for about five, no, maybe six minutes. Um, I was just chatting about all my snacks that I was eating and what I was doing this evening, blah, blah, blah. And then I just went to check the footage and the camera was literally zoomed right in. So the footage is just of like my face right here. And I was like, okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm feeling a little bit more skin confident these days but I'm not putting that on YouTube. It was literally just like my mouth and my nose like blabbing on. So um, I'm just gonna refilm my outro. And I have basically eaten all of the snacks. I went through all of my snacks in my snack box. So I'll quickly show you them again because I just have so many in here. These are like monthly subscription boxes and they come from different countries. And this one is the Netherlands one. We've got some crisps in here. These ones I was laughing at because they're called explosions. 
Thai curry, so I was immediately put off them. Although I wanted sweet stuff anyway, so I'm not eating any of the savoury stuff. I have some Lay's crisps here, which just remind me of holiday. We had these biscuits in there, which I did fancy, but I ended up eating something else. I'll show you what I've eaten in a minute. These little monkey things, but they're squidgy, so I think they're kind of like chewy monkeys or something. And then we had this cake here, and... Oh, these actually look really good. I am tempted on these. They're Dorito crisps, but they're different to Doritos that I've seen before. And then also another cake there. But what I actually ate is one of these, which are little mini caramel waffles. These are like my favourite snack anyway. And these mini ones are just perfect. So I had those with my cup of tea. And then I also ate these sweets here, which they're all, they are all gone now. But they, are, they were just kind of chewy... They kind of remind me of strawberries and cream. They were like chewy strawberries and cream. They're called Auto Drop. And they were really good. I really enjoyed them. And then I also opened up this little mini bar of chocolate, which was nice. Actually, this chocolate tastes like, you know, when you buy an advent calendar and you just get the little bits of chocolate in it. That is what this tastes like. It's so good. So I've pretty much eaten all of my snacks. I'm probably going to finish these off. Um, just chilling here. Oh, it also came with a drink in it as well, which I think I'm going to open in a minute green punch that is me for the evening really sat here eating snacks watching the final of love island and then laying on the sofa with the doggies until i feel like i'm gonna fall asleep and then i'll go to bed but i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog thank you so much for watching i know it's probably been a long one and don't forget to go and check out magic mind if you are interested in those productivity shots i honestly 100 recommend them and if you are going to order them don't forget to use my discount code rosie tilly 20 to get you 20 percent off but I will leave all the information for that link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing very well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Good night. You got your face right in the camera. Kiss. Good girl. Say good night to YouTube. Good girl. You gonna say good night, Justin? Good boy. Good night, YouTube. Good boy. Mm -hmm.